Greetings again everyone, Sir Morgan from the Technical Department. Today we will be looking at triangles, namely the equilateral triangle, the isosceles triangle and the scalene triangle. I will now go ahead and border my paper. Every triangle will have three sides. They will also have three angles. The first triangle we'll be looking at for today is called an equilateral triangle. From the word equilateral, we can detect that this triangle will consist of three sides having three equal length. The three angles of this triangle will also be equal in measurement. I will now construct an equilateral triangle where the length of all sides are 60 millimeters. The first step is, uh, is that I will draw my line AB to measure 60 millimeters. And for clarity's sake, I will go ahead and outline my 60 millimeters on this line. So AB is 60 millimeters. Now to get all sides equal, I will now open my compass to 60 millimeters, which is still the length of the line AB. So open your compass to 60 millimeters. Now I will put my compass at A and scribe an arc. I will also put it at B and scribe an arc. From the intersection of the arcs right here, I will now draw lines to A and B. I will call this point C. Now I am going to measure my AC and my BC to confirm that this triangle consists of three equal sides. From B to C, I am getting my 60 millimeters and also from C to A, I am also getting my 60 millimeters. So this is an equilateral triangle. All sides equal length. AC 60, AB 60, and BC 
60 millimeters. I will now construct an isosceles triangle. This triangle consists of three sides where two sides are equal in length. I will go ahead and draw my line AB. AB for this triangle is 40 millimeters. For clarity's sake, I will outline my AB. So AB is 40 and A to C will be 60 millimeters. I will now open my compass to a radius of 60 millimeters. Now put your compass at point A, scribe an arc above the triangle, also put it at point B, scribe another arc above the triangle. Now you will draw a line from A to the intersection of the arcs and also from B to the intersection of the arcs. Now we can see a comparison between the two triangles, the equilateral triangle and the isosceles triangle. So from A to C is 60 and from B to C is 60. I will now measure AC and CB. Okay, I'm getting my 60 millimeters along AC. And along CB, along CB, I am also getting my 60 millimeters. AC and CB are equal in length. As I said before, AC and CB are equal in length, equal to 60 millimeters, and AB is equal to 40 millimeters. Now, from looking on our triangle, we can observe that this angle and this angle is the same. However, this angle right here is different. So two equal angles, also two equal sides in length, for this triangle, the equilateral, all angles are the same. All the lengths of the sides are also the same. We will now draw a scalene triangle. Now, this triangle consists of three different lengths, right? The sides are of three different lengths. I will first draw my AB line for this triangle to be 60 millimeters. I will outline my 60 so you can see clearly.
So AB for this triangle is 60 millimeters. Now from A to my C, I will use 40 millimeters. So you will open your compass to 40 millimeters. Put your compass at A and scribe an arc. Now for B to C, I am going to use a length of 50 millimeters. So AB is 60. From A to point C will be 40. And from B to point C will be 50 millimeters. So open your compass to 50 millimeters. Put your compass at B and scribe an arc. Now from A, you will draw a line to the intersection of the arcs. And also from B, you will draw a line to the intersection of the arcs. Now let's measure BC and CA. Okay, from C to B, I am getting my 50 millimeters and I will also measure from A to C to confirm. Now I'm getting my 40 millimeters or my four centimeters. And originally AB, was 60 millimeters. We can now see that this scaling triangle consists of three sides having three different lengths. The angles are also different. The three angles of this triangles, triangle, they are also different. Now let's summarize an equilateral triangle, an isosceles triangle, and a scalene triangle. The equilateral triangle consists, all triangles consist of three sides. For the equilateral triangle, all the lengths are equal in length. For the isosceles triangle, two sides only two sides are equal in length right and for the scaling triangle all sides have different lengths now for the equilateral triangle all the angles are the same right the degree from here to here they are the same for all angles, three different angles of all triangles. But for the equilateral triangle, all the angles are the same. For the isosceles triangle, only two angles are the same. So these two angles are the same. You can see by observing also. If you want to use your protractor, you can do so and measure. So this, these two angles... They are equal and different from this angle right here. For the scaling triangle, it consists of three different angles. Three different angles. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.